I didn't know that voice recorder. On there. Oh, no, that's alright, man. Okay. I just used this. I'm a bit, I'm not, with technology, I'm a bit, uh... I'm the same, so uh, you'll you forgive know. me. I'm, I'm not too bad on some things, but on phones, on phones, like, it took me, like, years to get any sort of smartphone. Oh, okay. oh, and this is, actually, I got this from my girlfriend, and the other one, we just got here, just, because I needed something. But, yeah, that's alright. Uh, do you want to have a read okay. first? Or? Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, ready. Yeah. I advance and I blushed. Poetic symbols finally birth and taking form in shapes. Flushing spirits. Guileless, innocent, lacking in envy and never to victim of lust that always dresses in veils of love. Overrun in poetic forms, tender soul, bearing whole in a sweeping concerto of love that takes me under and swallows me. And anything wrong, flaws, defects, insecurities melt away, and as I parent the future, I'm finally consumed by love. Something all those poets had boasted about, encourage humanity to go and find. I'm finally freely experiencing it in the realm of reality and I forget about my own past. Those poems lose value. I gesture the experience in its own actions that love sings and scream with melody inside. I depart from this earth. I go to that other place, on the other side, where kings and queens, prophets, muses and martyrs go when awakening happens. I'm taken there. Taken by the hand from thy soulmate. When I first meet, I instantly spoke in poetry, in gushing articulation and through their image to the stars, in daring boasts how much I love, love thy. The sun stopped rising daily as humanity was left with nothing to do besides to lift their heads, gasps and be in awe of their beauty. Because I, though their image there, ballet over constellation. Love runs through violent fever wild and never to be tamed. I dare not to attempt. I let it run free. Violet light. To when their attention is turned, I'm a mortal ache, dying outright and my own drive to live. My constantly showing destiny dampers until their eyes gaze upon me and suddenly rushing back my drive, my destiny is shown like in such a fashion that no other part of my life is clearly seen. In fair manner. Being loved by thy soulmate is beyond addictive and meaningful. It's suffocating and illuminating simultaneously. Sparkling. My past prior to meeting thy vinegar on the road to heaven, to where now, it all seems quite pointless and painful to reflect on any portion of my life without, and I throw my past to the vanishing exile and forgotten about. It belongs there. Wild strawberries, for I've repented and rewarded with love. I shrug my shoulder dropped heart and I smile. Secret world, it's too late. Thy soulmate is burnt in my essence. And poems are only murmurs of love and nothing else. 
touching the trims of it all.